Hey, pretty gang, it is Jen, your exclusive startup business coach. This video in particular is brought to you by my Braid Hair for Cash course. Go in the description below and make sure you're <laughs> getting a course. Ew, look at me, hot mess. See, this one, this is how you act when you braid your hair. You feel me? When you braid your own hair, wow, you could be your own walking model. Anyway, I'm just coming to give you my five tips, right? First of all, you guys, we are currently in a pandemic. Second of all, there has been a second stay-at-home order that has come down. And like I've shared with you guys before, if you've seen more of my recent videos, braiding is not considered essential. So if you are going to keep doing this because it's a way or a means to feed your family and to support yourself, please be safe. Please follow CDC rules. Please follow your state guidelines. But I want to talk to you guys right now about five strategies that you can use right now if you are going to be trying to book clients. Definitely want to be booking clients once your stay-at-home order is no longer in place so you can be getting ready and setting up a couple of these things. Number one, I need you to, if you have or you're willing, to test and show people your results. That can be a way to get more clients. Letting them know like, hey, I was recently tested for COVID. I am clear of um, any of those type of things and being willing to share your results. You don't have to, but it's something that may make people feel a little bit more safe. So you definitely want to think about that. So that's one thing you can do is share your COVID results with your clients. Number two, travel. Um, I see a lot of you guys, you're using your ads, which is awesome. For those of you guys who are in my Brain Here for Cash course, you guys know that one of the examples I tell you guys to do, which I can tell you guys here also, is make sure you're sharing with people that you are with, willing to travel. And even if you want to even get more specific, you should Google five to ten cities in your near your cities that you are willing to travel to just so people, when they come across your ads, they can know more or less that you're willing to travel to their city, right? The third thing that you can do is be a little bit more flexible with your scheduling. Some people might want you to come a little bit later because they may want to put their kids to sleep. They may want you to come to braid their hair when there's nobody else in the house but them. Things like that. Or people might want you to come super early, probably before their kids get up, probably before their family gets up. So you can be in, do their hair, and you can be out. So something you can do so that you can get a little bit more business is open up your business of operation Scheduling if that's something you're willing to do. Okay, number four is if you are a brand new braider, something you can do is you can run a special for first time clients. Now, make sure the special you run is something that you are actually willing to do, right? For example, I am not a fan of individuals, box braids, none of that, okay? I am really more of a one layer, two layer kind of girl. So I know that one layers take me about an hour to two hours. That would be something that I would put on discount because I know something I can do quick something I can do fast okay so make sure when you're doing a discount it's something that you're agreeing to do do not discount some of your um higher ticket styles don't do that okay or you might know how to do a popular style right now and I definitely would recommend for you to discount that if it's something you like doing and it's something you know you can do it quickly and you can do it neatly and the last thing I'm going to recommend you guys is I'm going to recommend you start running ads. Like I've told you guys before, many people think that they can continue to do their online business, right? Because you're getting your clients more than likely at this point right now online. Of course, it's word of mouth is the best way or one of the best ways, but we know online is where it's at. So you definitely want to run ads, specifically Facebook ads. But before you go running Facebook ads, I need you to go learn from someone who knows what they're doing. I'm going to leave a video to someone below who I believe would resonate with our audience pretty gang right hashtag pretty gang in the comments stop playing um and I believe that she's going to be able to help you show you how to run ads maybe for ten dollars five dollars twenty dollars because you have to be realistic you have to spend money to make money you guys so if you say okay this week I'm going to spend twenty dollars on Facebook ads to get five clients and say if you were to get five clients with you know box braids at a hundred dollars a piece you just make you just turn twenty dollars into five hundred dollars you see how that just like that but before you run facebook ads you need to know what you're doing because running ads it will eat your money up if you do not know what you're doing so definitely check the person out in the description below and make sure you let her know uh, pretty gang <laughs> pretty chicks invest in you okay so number one, you're going to be willing to show your COVID results. Two, you're going to be willing to tell people the cities that you're willing to travel to. Three, you're going to 
be more flexible in your time bookings because some people may want you to come before or after your regular timing or your regular business hours. The fourth thing you're gonna go ahead and discount um, for brand new, brand new, brand new braiders you can do discounts and for those of you guys who are already braiders and you have a couple of clients in your phone I definitely would send out a text message saying hey just want to let you know I'm available to do hair and I'm cur currently running a five or ten dollar discount uh, on the last hairstyle I did for you or for this specific hairstyle so you guys I hope that this was helpful make sure you hashtag pretty gang in the comments and I'll be talking to, talking to you guys later bye y'all